Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. I haven't done a car vlog in a very long time. I don't think I've done one actually since I announced that I had fully funded my January trip, which is really exciting stuff. So I'm doing this today because it is actually Monday, it is Labor Day, we've had a very busy weekend, and although you're not supposed to like labor on Labor Day, <laughs> we did a lot of yard work earlier, I cleaned up, I took a shower, I washed myself, I've got my um, little mermaid shirt on for you guys, and I just got done going to the grocery store. And I'm going to talk to you guys about why I love Meyer. And now if you don't have a Meyer in your area, I'm so sad for you. But there might be some of these principles that you can take as to why I love Meyer so much and apply them to your grocery store because some grocery stores have similar options to Meyer that aren't in my area. Or maybe you are in my area, but I just try to make it easy and go to one store. Go a little bit of crazy, a little bit of crazy here. Okay, so I love Meyer because they have this wonderful program called Imperks. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about my Imperk savings a lot. That helps me save money for Disney so much because what Meyer offers you is percentages or dollars off usually um, a purchase of something and you can do these via monthly rewards so there's usually a total purchase um, reward there's often a baby purchase reward toy reward home appliances reward fresh meat reward all kinds of things I'm sure they're tracking how you're shopping <laughs> and that's how they know um, what you like to buy um, and what's going on so I love 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 that and some of them are really big and that's when you see me say that I saved like 20 or $30 on my imperks that week, it's because what I do is I hoard my imperks. I say no, 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 no. Every time I go to the grocery store and I put in my imperks number um, to get my savings from my digital coupons or to add what I'm spending to my monthly reward, I hoard my imperks until they are due to expire. And so I will have a whole bunch of them and then use them that week off of the whole bunch of groceries instead of being like $3 here, $5 there, $10 there, it's $30 or something like that at a time. So when I do that, I add that money to my Disney fund. I think we've talked about how there's no money saving police if you choose instead to take that money off of your just grocery total and that way you have more money to spend on your groceries. That's okay. I just try to stay where my budget is and just save that money for myself. Especially big money like that. Like regular coupons, when that money comes off, that to me is just a savings. That's how I can spend more at a time. And you saw that. This this is the extent of my <laughs> coupon stuff anymore because Meyer has so many digital coupons and I know Kroger has digital coupons. Um, what I like about Kroger is that you can often use them up to five times and Meyer is getting towards that. Some of their coupons can be used up to five items in a purchase. Sometimes they're unlimited. Oftentimes they're one for one. So read the fine print on your coupons always do that another thing I love about using coupons at Meyer is they spit out coupons at the machines all the time and not everybody takes them I've had people straight up hand coupons to me in the grocery line because I see I have them I have found where people have left huge stacks of coupons um, in the chip section right there I mean it's a totally intentional it's not accidental left these coupons behind they leave them behind the self scanner all the time I call it coupon Christmas <laughs> when I go to Meyer and there are coupons available that is coupon Christmas and I put them in my little doodad here and I hold on to them and I use them and I love them and I'm very thankful for them and I save on everything here I pretty much buy everything that my family needs from Meyer, from shoes to frozen vegetables and everything in between I do the pretty much all my shopping in Meijer and I love it and I'm sure they love me for it there's people who know me here like I feel like I live here I have crashers that are my friends <laughs> I love shopping here I love it I just can't say enough good stuff about it they don't price match anymore which is kind of a bummer because I used to have additional savings through that but really from the import coupons that they offer the coupons that they spit out all the time and the rewards program. The rewards program is totally my favorite. And they have this other cool thing where they keep track of your savings for the year. 
and I have saved $2,660.14 before my grocery trip I just went on right now because it'll take about an hour for that to show up and an average of about 34% total. But when you think about some of the things I get, for example, I just got a Keurig K55 that was $119.99 for $45.84, y'all. And here's my loan savings this week. It popped out at $20 off my next purchase. So there's my $20 savings. When I get big coupons like that, that I count. Since I was gonna buy that anyways, and I got it for such a good deal, that $20 is savings. I put it towards something else. It went towards my groceries today. It's coming off of the grocery fund. So yeah, how did that work? Well. A third or however I've never been counting but something else I love about Meyer and their imperks is they allow stacking of coupons you can stack a manufacturer's coupon with a store coupon however that comes so here's what I had they had 10% off a small kitchen appliance they had 10% off general merchandise for the Labor Day sale I had a $35 Meyer card off of several different um, labeled Keurigs and then in one of my coupon Christmas finds I found a $20 manufacturer off of any Keurig brewer. So 10% off, 10% off, $35 off, $20 off, it was $42 something, add tax, $45.84 plus $20 on your next purchase. So when you look at things like that, and I do that. I mean, I don't buy Keurigs all the time. <laughs> um, but when I look at my like price per item and the things that I'm buying and the price that I'm paying for them, it's very little. I love Meyer. Meyer, I love you. I should write a poem about how much I love you and said I'm going to do this vlog. I know that some of you, like the Lemon Sisters, yeah, you, Leanne and Mandy, I'm talking to you. They have Meyer. And I just have a feeling in my heart that they are not using Meyer to the best of their ability because a lot of people aren't. They're just not. Like my mother-in-law, you'll hear me say, I have access to three accounts. I use her account sometimes when I want to buy something because I'm saying, you're gonna buy this? She'll say, no, she's not. So I use it, I do use it. So anyways, I saved $20 this week towards my fund. I just went grocery shopping. I have my car running. I have food in here I need to get home. So I better do that. But I love Meyer. Where do you love to shop? Do you shop at Walmart? Even with the savings catcher, y'all? I just don't think Walmart's a good deal. And I personally just don't like to shop at Walmart. But do you really think you're saving a lot of money? Tell me. If you save money at Walmart, I want to know. Do you go to Kroger? I don't know my friend, she saves a lot of money at Kroger and I could probably save some money at Kroger, but I just like to be simple and I'd rather just go to one store. If she tells me about her super good deal, like when there was 50 cent boxes of cereal, yeah, I went to Kroger that day and I got me some cereal. I have four kids in my house now to feed. <laughs> they eat a lot of cereal. They do. Anyways, where do you like to shop? Where do you find the good deals? What's the place in your area? What's your favorite means? Are you still clipping a whole bunch of newspaper coupons every week? Are you mostly using digital coupons? Are you using mostly printable coupons? What do you do? How do you save money? I'm excited to know. Please comment in the box below. If you're new here to Mickey Money Mondays or if you just haven't yet already, please click, click, click bloop, the button here, dollar sign. Do that so you can subscribe and come back next week. I really appreciate you guys watching and until then I'll see you real soon.